Recently, I was dialoguing with this black female and she was telling me about her three divorces. What I found interesting was when I asked her what happened to her marriages, the fault was never hers. The blame was always her ex-husband's. The problem with one was he wouldn't work. He was lazy. The other one was he cheated on her. The other one was he was abusive or he did something to her. And I said to her, it sound like it was your fault. Because if a person can marry three and four times and not one time the marriage ended because of them or something they did wrong. It was always the other person's fault. If you're married to three people in all three times, that marriage did not work. The three common denominators that these three ex-husbands had was her. So she was the common denominator for that marriage not working. I look at that the same way I look at the so-called black Americans that claim that everybody hates them. The Koreans hate them. The Chinese people hate them. The Japanese hate them. The Arabs hate them. The Africans hate them. The white man hates them. The Indian people hate them. Everybody hates black people. Now, the video I posted Recently, there were, I had a comment and the comment reads, you're delusional because in this video, I made the comment that I've never seen, I've never experienced any hatred coming from Koreans or uh, Japanese or even, even Vietnamese. I'm not saying that they don't have racist Vietnamese nor racist um Koreans or racist Japanese. And there are some good China people out there too, although I've had bad experiences with China people. But this person says you're delusional. If you don't live in California or places where they have a large number, you'll never experience it firsthand. But Koreans most definitely hate us. Japanese do too, but not as much as Koreans and Vietnamese. Now, I live in New York. I was raised in New York. So I'm fully aware that New York is multicultural, deal with all kinds of people. And maybe it's just me because I've always gotten along with people the majority of the time. There's not too many people I can call my enemy or say that I hate or dislike because I hadn't really had too many bad experiences in my 61 years of living on this planet. The most of my problems came from the so-called black Americans. Those were the ones that gave me the most problems. Those are the ones that I've learned not to really trust. My house was broken into one time by a black American. My store, I had people come into my store and try to steal stuff. But I caught them, black Americans. So... And that's not even the beginning of what I've experienced, the fights that I've had with black Americans coming up, the bullying that I've experienced with black Americans when I was in elementary school on up. So if I was going to dislike someone, it would be the so-called black Americans. And you know, it's quite difficult to speak well of black Americans. I had just made a video and I was talking about how great black Americans were, 
how talented they are. But unfortunately, in this day and time, black Americans have given up much or most of their greatness. And I mentioned R&B and how R&B is basically don't exist anymore. Unless you're listening to the music that I grew up on, the old school music. But there's no real musicians out there from black people, unless, of course, it's jazz or they or blues um, where they're playing the guitar or jazz where they're playing the saxophone or the clarinet, you know, or what have you. But we don't find too many talented black people that's growing up knowing how to play an instrument. We just don't have that now. Everybody is using beats and fake music and and biting off of music that had already existed. Things that other nations are doing. Biting off of black people. So the so-called black Americans don't create. They don't use the talents that God had given them to use. And I spoke on that. But then I'm going to always have somebody that's going to comment and speak well of other people. And trash themselves. And it's really sad. So if everybody hates black people, according to black people, maybe the common denominator is you. It's like the Africans, this whole few thing that's going on between the so-called black Americans and Africans. Black Americans refer to them as Africa booty scratches. Now, I recall watching a movie and in that movie, I, I forgot what it was. I don't know if it, no, it wasn't South Central. It was another movie where in school, this, um, this little boy called this dude the African booty scratcher or whatnot. So um, they bullied, bullied Africans that came here. They talked about how they live in the jungle and... Um, they live in huts and they got big guts and flies are swarming around them and everything negative. And then you expect them to respect you. You expect them to like you when all you've done since they've been here was attack them. Now, there are Africans that do attack the so-called black Americans. I spoke on that. But if Africans don't like black Americans and China folks don't like Africans or black Americans, or if Vietnamese don't like black Americans, white men don't like black Americans, police don't like black Americans, then maybe it's because of what you do. Maybe it's how you treat them. Like how, again, black Americans call Africans booty scratchers. I was watching Bounty Hunter D. And right, he's got an intro video where, and I saw that, that episode where this African dude was in there and the dude was being hooked up to a lie det detector. Um, and one of the questions Bounty Hunter D had asked this dude was, um, is your name Africa Booty Scratcher? And the dude was like, no! So he took that, that bit of recording and he used it for his introductory video. So Africans feel some kind of way when black Americans refer to them as an African Booty Scratcher, right? But again, if... Black people, if you say that nobody likes you, it ain't because of your color. It's not always because of they're jealous of you. It's not always the case. Maybe it's because of how you treat them. And maybe it's because they see you living in a very wealthy nation in spite of what you went through. In spite of what you've been through. Because I can say personally... Coming up in the 60s, the so-called black Americans were a whole lot better off then back in the 70s 
than they are now. They had a lot less, but the families were closer. See, so somewhere along the line or somewhere along the way, black Americans have lost their way. They have lost themselves. They don't even love who they are. So when you have foreigners that come to this country and they're looking at your condition and they're seeing that you're still on the bottom and they themselves have a testimony about how when they came here, they couldn't even speak the language. And now you find them as doctors and uh, medical staff and business owners and the black Americans that were born and raised here are still on the bottom looking for Section 8, looking for public assistance, crying to the government, what can you give me? And now you have politicians that's enriching themselves off the ignorance of black people. All they have to do is stand up and say, we're here to defend democracy. If you don't vote for me, you ain't black. And then they promise you, Biden promised to give you money, a stimulus, if he's in office and you didn't get that stimulus. The only time somebody got money was when they start issuing that money for child care credit. But much of y'all are being evicted. You guys can't feed yourself. You're still on the bottom and refuse to work. And all he have to do now is stand up and say the reason why he did nothing for you was because of Trump. And then you would begin to start mimicking that. It's because of Trump that we ain't get nothing. And talking like slaves. Oh, it was that Donald Trump. He's the reason why these gas prices are so high. It was because of him. And all they have to do, the Democrats, is play on your ignorance because somewhere in the back of your minds, black Americans, you think if you leave the Democrat plantation, that you will miss out on something. That's why you are afraid to leave the Democrat Party because you have been conditioned that the Republicans or conservatives are racist. Although Biden has proven himself to be an open racist. Sending money over to the Ukraine and you can see what the Ukrainians are doing to the African students over there. Biden just got done uh, issuing crack pipes and heroin to black people. And you seem to be content with that. And I find it quite weird that you guys are quiet now. There's no protest. Inflation, gas prices are, are at its highest. You guys had mandates where you were forced to take vaccines or you were going to lose your job. And many of you have lost your jobs. Unemployed now. And money is being sent to foreigners openly. And you're crying about reparation. And guess what? Biden is ignoring you. But yet you will remain faithful to the Democrat Party because somewhere in your psyche you believe that if you leave the Democrat Party, you're going to miss out on something. I think that's what it is. I think that you feel that no one can help you but the Democrats. Save democracy. But hey, have you ever looked up the definition of democracy? Have you ever looked it up? I think you should look that up and see what it means. So when you stop people that's that votes different than you, 
That's not democracy. When you attack other blacks because they were conservative, that's not democracy. Look up the word democracy and see what it means. But this past election had been one-sided. They stole their way into the White House. And look at what they're doing. They're now punishing you. They are now punishing the people, the Democrats, the blacks and whites that left the Democrat Party. They're now punishing you. In my own opinion, that's the whole purpose of this inflation. And Biden don't care anything about Americans because Americans did not vote for him. They stole their way into the White House. And they use black people to do it. And you got nothing out of the deal. Not even protection from police that's killing young black males. No protection, but the Asians got protection. The illegal immigrants got reparations for stealing their way into this country. And you got nothing but yet you're still loyal to the Democrat Party. You're still helping other nations that come here and rise above you and you're still on the bottom. And right now, you're quiet. They made you or turned you into a terror cell. And all they have to do is Say the word because you're programmed, you're brainwashed. And at any moment they need you to fight their battles, all they need to do is stand up in the media on CNN or those other Democratic media stations and send out that signal to your brain. Something will awaken in you. Next time you know, next thing you know, Black Lives Matter is out there protesting and tearing up stuff. I guarantee you, if Trump decides to run for president, they're going to activate black people. Those black people that have been programmed, conditioned, bamboozled, uh, hoodwinked, put to sleep, those that have been uh, vexed they're going to awaken those people to fight and defend their position see now when you go to the gas tank it now costs you double more in other places to fill your tank and you would go and complain about that and then Biden would stand up and say it's Putin's fault and you believe it. But he just got done saying it was Trump's fault. And then he said it was the fault of the pandemic. So everything he says, you believe it. And the sad thing about that is Biden is not all, all there. His mind is not all there. He can hardly speak. He's reading from a piece of paper. Repeating what he's told to do. But yet he's smarter than you because he's controlling your mind. You're under a spell. And when he say jump, you want to know how high and will faithfully defend democracy. You would faithfully defend the Democratic Party. Joe Biden. And all he got to do is put a black face or brown face in the forefront. Don't matter if they are an immigrant. Notice, not too many black Americans. They're foreigners. So all he got to do is put a black face in the forefront and say, this is what I did for black people. And guess what? You guys will vote for him again. In spite of what you are experiencing now. And y'all is sitting idly by waiting for a $300 stimulus check. That's sad. 
but you wonder why everybody hates black people. Because they they come here with nothing. These people are walking miles, allegedly, to steal their way into this country. And then they come here. And I admit they're given a place to stay. They're given free transportation. They're given vouchers in the middle of the night. They're going to Walmart doing their shoppings. And then they come here and they work. And they rise above you. And you don't hear of them no more. But you'll hear of black people crying, talking about what they don't have and how somebody don't like them and racism and discrimination. And the Democrats took that word racism and discrimination and used it to their own benefit. Not talking about you. And another thing they did, too, they took black and used it for their benefit capitalized off of black. So now you have people like Kamala Harris that one moment she's standing up saying that she's Indian and then the next minute she's saying that she's Jamaican immigrant and then she says to gain black folk, black Americans, I'm black. And you fall for it every single time. When are you going to wake up when are you going to learn? How long are you going to stay on the bottom begging instead of trying to help yourself? And see, when you support black businesses, you're helping yourself out because now if you help them like you help these Koreans that you say hate you and you say Japanese hate you and Chinese people hate you, but yet you go support their businesses. But yet you claim about businesses that black Americans create. You give all your money to those people that you claim to hate you. But yet you'll kill your own brother and sister in the street. These dudes will impregnate these females and leave them to raise these kids by themselves and then sit back and then talk about the black female about how she's got multiple baby daddies. Well, if these multiple baby daddies weren't dropping babies, she wouldn't have those problems. And we can say if she didn't open her legs, they wouldn't be able to come between them legs and drop babies off. So you can't sit there and blame black women for having multiple babies and being and, and, and be and raising their children in a single parent home when you was the one that dropped the baby and made it a single parent home. But nobody want to talk about that. You'll be like that female that was married three times and blame each of those men instead of blaming yourself. It's never your fault. It's her fault. The reason why you're not taking care of your kids. But you want to talk about how everybody hates you, even black women. Black women hate us. White people hate us. Asians hate us. These people hate us. Well, the common denominator, again, is you. What did you do to make these people hate you? Again, they come here and see you doing nothing on the bottom complaining with your hands out. But you would quickly run to that voting booth and vote Democrat because Biden told you to do so. Because he put a brown face in the forefront and they told you and gave you this sad, sob, lying story about how she was a little girl. And they asked her, what did she want? I won't feed them. And you believe it. But I ain't going to get into that. But anyway, everybody hates black people. There's a reason why people hate black people. It's because black people, so-called black people, make people hate them. By the way you treat others and by the way you treat yourself. So feedback, tell me what you think. Subscribe. Till next time. I'm 
fearless.